If you've injured your knees, or if you're starting to hear some clicking sounds and you're risking or worried about injuring your knees, these are the four exercises that I recommend to my students to bulletproof their knees so that they become so strong that they don't risk any injury. There's a PDF file up above in the link if you want to download it, or download it down below, I don't know where it is, but follow along. Let's dive in. So first things first is we want to learn how to externally rotate the knee to avoid any injury, but these four maneuvers are designed to help strengthen the knee. The first thing that you're going to need is a foam roller. This is a tiny one, super easy to pick up over at like Target, Walmart. You can you know, order it on Amazon. The other thing that you're going to want to use is a set of stairs. I've got my little kid's step ladder. You can use whatever sort of stair thing that you want to do at home or do it outside. Now, we're going to do each maneuver nine times. The first one you're going to do is take a foam roller and you want to set it in between the bones. So you want it between the knee and between the head of the femur. And so you're going to be rolling up and down on the knee on that IT band. And it sucks. This is going to hurt. No joke, this is probably the most painful maneuver of the whole thing. You're going to find a painful spot. You're going to stay there for about 10 seconds and then roll it out nine times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. God, that hurts. Okay, then you're gonna find another painful spot, which is right next to it, and you're gonna stay there for about 10 seconds, and then you're gonna roll that one out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. You're gonna do that on both sides. So, switching sides. Again, set it between the knee and the hip and you're going to find a painful spot. I have less pain on this side, however, there's still some pain right here. So holding, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. Do that for yourself. Find a couple spots, roll it out. Every day it's going to be a little bit different. The next maneuver that we're going to do is knee circles. So bring the toes together, have the heels apart. You're going to bring the knees together, bending the knees, bringing them together. Have your hands on the knees for support, and you're going to roll around nine times in one direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and then nine times in the other direction. Now this may look unsafe, but because the knees are squeezing together, they're supporting each other. And this movement is helping to start to bring fluid and movement in between the head of the femur and your tibia and fibia. So after about nine times here, going in both directions, the next maneuver, we're gonna do single leg calf raises. So I'm gonna grab my kid's step ladder. You can use whatever it is that you need. And with one leg on, we're going to lift up nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Switch sides, do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so the next maneuver is called a Peterson step down. Now you can use a foam roller and stand on the edge of the foam roller and then you would lower down. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just so that you can get a side view of what I'm doing. You're standing on the edge of the foam roller so that there's a little bit of lift in the heel and you're lowering down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are four movements that I would encourage you to do if you're experiencing any knee pain. And the idea is that you're doing these four movements to bulletproof your knees, to make them so strong that there isn't going to be a risk of an injury. Because you've strengthened the quadricep muscles, you've strengthened the fronts of the shins, you've strengthened the caps and the, uh, the, the calf muscles and the soleus muscles in the back. You're building strength around the knees so that they don't go into pain. I encourage you to do three to four sets of these movements about nine times each side just so that you build up the strength and especially starting to work on a side that may or may not have a little bit more pain or be a little bit more tender. Those are the nine exercise movements that I encourage you to practice if you have any knee pain. Check you on the mat next time.